Yo, what's up? Long Tai here, coming at you with another Drink With Long episode. Our topic today is bricks. Bricks is a unit of measure that measures the amount of dissolved sucrose in your aqueous solution. Sucrose being your common table sugar such as white, brown, demerara, or cane sugar. And our aqueous solution in our case will be syrups. One degree bricks means there is one gram of sugar per 100 grams of syrup. Since it's one gram out of 100 grams, you can essentially say that 1% of your syrup is made up of sugar. A 1 to 1 ratio of simple syrup with 100 grams of water and 100 grams of sugar will have a total mass of 200 grams. Since it's 100 grams of sugar out of 200 grams of syrup, the degree bricks level will be 50. A 2 to 1 rich syrup with 100 grams of water and 200 grams of sugar will have a total syrup mass of 300 grams. Since it's 200 grams of sugar out of 300 grams of syrup, the degree bricks level would be 66.7. That's essentially saying 66.7% of your syrup is made up of sugar. Measuring degree bricks in your syrup will ensure that your syrups are made consistently the same. With the syrups being made consistently the same, your cocktails will also be consistent. I personally like to shoot for a degree bricks level of 49 to 52 degree bricks when I make my flavored syrups. For bar and restaurant owners, if a guest orders a strawberry daiquiri and you have a strawberry syrup made to the same degree bricks as your simple syrup or cane syrup, then you can be sure that the strawberry daiquiri will have a similar body and texture as the daiquiri with cane and simple syrup. More importantly, your bartenders don't have to spend that extra time going back and forth trying to balance out that perfect strawberry daiquiri. The easier it is for your bartenders to make quality drinks, the easier it is for them to give great amazing service to all your guests. The group bricks is measured with this device here called a refractometer. Refractometer measures the degree that light passes through a solution as bent. Here you see the angle prism in blue. The refractometer measures the angle of light coming in and the angle of light coming out of the angle prism. The refractometer I have has a measuring scale of 0 to 55 degree bricks. It's made to measure dissolved sugar in an aqueous solution. To take a measurement, all you have to do is open up the cover plate, grab a small sample of your syrup, place a small sample on the angle prism. Next, you close the cover plate. The last thing you want to do is look directly into the eyepiece here, right into a light source so you can read the degree bricks reading. The scale reading may be out of focus. You may need to turn the eyepiece here just to get the scale reading to be in focus so you can make it readable. This photo shows what you would see through the viewfinder when looking through the eyepiece. The refractometer shows a reading from 0 to 55 degree bricks in half degree increments. The reading on this photo shows a degree bricks level of 36. I have two amazing formulas for you. The first formula tells how much sugar needs to be added to increase your bricks level. The second formula tells how much water or fruit juice is needed to decrease your bricks level. These two formulas will save you money from throwing out syrups if you accidentally mess up. You will also save time from not having to go back and forth guessing how much sugar or water to add to your syrup to reach your desired brick level. Let's say your syrup somehow ended up at 30 degree bricks and you want your final syrup to be 55 degree bricks. The only way you can increase your brick level from 30 to 55 degree bricks is to add more sugar. How do you know how much sugar to add to reach your desired or final bricks level? I got you covered with this first formula right here. Bricks is a percentage of sugar in your syrup. Knowing this, bricks can also be said to be a ratio of sugar mass to syrup mass. Knowing the degree bricks and also the syrup mass, you will be able to find the sugar mass with this formula here. BF stands for final bricks. That is essentially your desired bricks level that you want to shoot for. Your final sugar mass divided by your final syrup mass can be broken down further into this equation to your left side here. SN is the amount of sugar that you started out with in your syrup. SA is how much sugar you need to add to get to your final bricks level. MN is the initial mass of your syrup or your starting point. And SA is how much sugar you need to add to get your desired bricks or final bricks level. However much sugar you add to get your desired bricks level, total mass increases by the same amount. That is why our final mass is equal to the starting point of your mass initially, plus the amount of sugar you're adding to get to your desired or final bricks level. Using this equation here, 
and solving for SA, which is the amount of sugar you need to add to get your desired BRICS level, you'll be able to find how much sugar you need to add. Using basic algebra and solving for S of A will morph into this equation. The amount of sugar mass needed to get to your final BRICS level is equal to your final BRICS level multiplied by the initial mass of your syrup minus the initial sugar mass of your syrup divided by 1 minus your final BRICS level. You can also use this equation to determine how much sugar you need to add to your fruit juice to make a syrup with the fruit juice. Let's do an example so you know how this equation works. The first thing we need to do is use a refractometer to measure the initial bricks reading in our syrup. And let's say we did that and we got a reading of 30 degree bricks, which is essentially 30% sugar content. We also have to use the scale to measure our initial mass of our syrup. And let's say we did that and the scale reads 3,500 grams. And then we decide what bricks level we want to end up with. And let's say we desire a final bricks level of 55% or 55 degree bricks. In order to use this equation, we need to know what the initial sugar mass is in our syrup as our starting point. And the way we do that is by taking the initial mass and initial bricks reading and put it into this equation here, where initial sugar mass equals the initial bricks reading times your initial mass. And plug and chug the numbers, this is what you get as your initial sugar mass at 1,050 grams. Once you know all the parameters to solve this equation, you basically just plug and chug the numbers. And when you do that, you'll find out that you need 1,944.4 grams of sugar to be added to your syrup in order to get your final bricks level of 55 degrees or 55% sugar content. There's a way to double check your answers by going back to the first equation. The final bricks is equal to the total mass of sugar in your syrup divided by the total mass of your syrup. By already knowing your parameters, all you do is plug and chug into this equation to find your final bricks level. And since we're shooting for 55 degree bricks, we should get something pretty close. As you can see, we got 0 0.5499 after we just plug and chug the numbers, which is pretty darn close to 55%. What happens if you add too much sugar accidentally to your syrup? I got you covered right here with this formula. Looking at the equation, we see that BF equals your final bricks level that you're wanting. SN is your initial sugar mass of your syrup. And F is your final mass of your syrup, which is represented by your initial mass of your syrup plus the amount of water you need to add to get your final bricks level. Adding water will decrease the bricks level, while adding sugar will increase the bricks level. What we want to do is decrease the bricks level so no sugar will be added. Only thing we'll be adding will be water. The initial sugar mass is the same as the final sugar mass because we're not adding any sugar to our syrup. The only thing we're adding to our syrup is the water so we can decrease the bricks level. Doing a little basic algebra and solving for water will give you this equation here. This equation shows that the amount of water needed to reach your final brick level is equal to the initial sugar mass of your syrup minus the final bricks level multiplied by the initial mass of your syrup divided by the final bricks level. Let's do an example together to see this equation in action. The first thing we need to do is get our refractometer out and measure our initial bricks reading for our syrup. And let's say we do that and we get a 50 degree brick reading, which is essentially saying our syrup has 50% sugar in it. The second thing we need to do is break out our scale and measure our initial mass for our syrup. And let's say we do that and we get 10,000 grams. The third thing we need to do is decide what brick level we want to end up with. So let's say we want our final brick level to be 35 degrees bricks. That is basically saying we want a 35% sugar content for our syrup. The fourth step is to find the initial sugar mass by using this equation here. And the way we do that is by taking the initial mass and the initial bricks and plugging it into this formula to find out what the initial sugar mass is. And what we find out is that it ends up being 5,000 grams for our initial sugar mass. Once you have all your variables, you just plug and chug to find out how much water you need to get to your final brick level of 35 degrees bricks. And what we end up getting is 4,285.7 grams that we need to add to our syrup to get a 35% bricks level. Don't forget to check your answer. Going back to this equation where final bricks equals your initial sugar mass divided by your initial mass plus how much water you add. Since we know all the variables already, we just plug and chug into this equation to find out if Indeed, our final brick level is 35 degrees bricks or not. When we plug and chug, we do see that equals to 0.35, which is essentially 35%. So it's right on.
The formulas are for the perfect ideal world. Since we don't live in a perfect ideal world, more than likely you'll be off a degree or two. But overall, the formula should get you a good starting point to hit that bridge level that you're wanting. Using a more accurate scale, which measures mass to the 10th, 100th, or even 1,000th place, plus minimizing the amount of times you transfer sugar, water, or even fruit juice from container to container will help you better hit your desired bricks level, which you have calculated. Also note that if you are using fruit juice to decrease your bricks level, you may need to add more fruit juice to your syrup. The reason being is that fruit juice naturally has sugar in it. To be on the safe side, I would add the amount of fruit juice which you have calculated using the formula. Then I would take another bricks reading and go from there. I hope this has been helpful and saves you a lot of time by taking the guesswork out for you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more booze related knowledge. Until then, peace out.